Thanks. Hey guys, Hi so everyone. we've just come here to the Lovelock Bridge in Cologne. Uh, we're not sure what the German word is, but we will insert it now. And we've just put our lock up. Yes, we did the whole sort of ritual thing where you lock it on and then chuck away the keys into the river. We thought, we don't need to show you that bit, but... It was very cheesy. <laughs> it was very cheesy, you don't need to see it. But it had to be done. Yeah. Where is it? Where's it gone? Sausage dog. Sausage dog. Ah, yes. And here is our lock. Um, it's attached to Lena and Dennis's lock. So Lena and Dennis, if you're watching, this is our hope lock. We're still together. Yeah, we still, we still, <laughs> hope you're still together. Hope we didn't bring back any bad wounds. Um, we got a really kind of a large loop to this padlock, so like other people can kind of extend off hours. You can see like how many padlocks are on here is absolutely insane. This uh, goes all the way down. This, this goes side all of the, the way down this bridge. It's pretty darn long. Yeah, and it's just this all the way down. And as you can see, like people have attached it on, on top of other ones. People have put like bite locks on, and more people have yeah, added. Yeah, we got one here from 2010. Uh, there's one here from well, 2018. That's recent. Uh, one here from 2013 here as well. Yeah, but we've seen ones as far back as like 1998, haven't we? Yeah, it's really cool. It's quite it's part of history now. We've yeah. we've joined it. That's it. They've started over there. I'm oh, sorry, there's some <laughs> machinery going past. That's but okay, they I'm have assuming. started to they have started to put locks on the other side as well. But we wanted to be part of the sort of original one, the main one, even though it is so busy. <laughs> yeah, there was some talk about not allowing this to happen uh, because the actual weight of the padlocks wasn't accounted for in the engineering. But they uh, Cologne have since just the Cologne Tourism Board have just said, no, come, continue putting your locks on. And uh, I'm really happy that they have. Me too. Okay, so we've come for a walk down at the Rhine River. Uh, as you can see, there's one ship behind us here. They do offer a few boat tours here. We've come, I believe, anyway, we've come out of season. So I'm not sure if any of them are running. We have seen one running, uh, but... Maybe it's a test boat, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, they do offer different lengths of tours. So you get like one hour, two hours, and also full day tours. So it is worth having a look if you want to explore down the Rhine. Yeah, we've seen quite a few of the signs for some of the boats that are docked that they uh, they kind of start running from kind of the 19th of November, which presumably is roughly around the time that Christmas season happens here in Cologne. But yeah, you can see the, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna insert the word here, but this is the Lovelock Bridge behind us. Yeah, really, really cool. really huge and dangerous notice that one's actually got a stage on it so before we came to Cologne these colorful buildings were one of the first things I'd seen so this is in the old town the Altstadt a lot of the old town was actually lost during the war but the parts that have remained are really really pretty and um, yeah it's just kind of different colored houses like this all around all around the place really there's quite a lot of brow houses and stuff here as well uh, all kind of cobbled streets with like you know, fountains and statues and stuff around, it's really cool. Pretty much everywhere you go, everyone is either riding a bike or a scooter, or what we've seen quite recently, some segways. So Dane keeps trying to get me to go on one. I've not really wanted to, so he's going to have a go. Yeah, I'm not really sure how it works. Um, I've just scanned the QR code on the top here and it's taken me to the Google Play Store to download the Tear app, which is presumably, uh, you know, how you unlock this thing. But yeah, we'll see. Are <laughs> <laughs> well, you gonna run into me then? Have a go, please. It's so, so easy. It's, so get easy. Me on the it's so easy. It's so easy. You can do this. Okay. You can do it. Okay. Left leg on. Kick off hard. Then press the button. <laughs> oh shit! 
How'd you find that? Don't ever make me do that again. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're back in uh, Gildenham Zim. They sell the uh, the Gilden Kulch here. Uh, slightly different variety to the uh, Gaffel Kulch. I'd say each one, each kind of brow house, brews their own beer individually. So they each have their own unique taste, taste, even if it is the same variety. Maybe the Gaffel Kulch is a little bit nicer, but this is still really good. Some of the detail on the Cone Cathedral is just absolutely incredible. It's just so giant, I don't feel like we can get all of the detail in. You just gotta come here and experience it yourself, but we'll show you as much of it as we can. Okay, so our trip's finally coming to a close here in Cologne. Uh, we've come to the cathedral, which is towering above us right now, as you can see. It is intimidatingly tall, this thing. Um, we've had a great time here. Yeah, it's been wonderful. It's been so good to see the different parts of Cologne, going over to Fantasyland. I just, I don't know, I just really love it here. I don't want to go home. Yeah, we were <laughs> unfortunate. Both of us did fall ill midway into the holiday. It was just a, I don't know what it is. Uh, we did take a Covid test out of curiosity but we turned up negative so I don't really know what it was, probably just like a flu or like a really bad version of the common cold. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but like it kind of knocked us sick but we will be back here soon because it, the place is amazing. It really is and we thought this would be such a nice place to see for Christmas so maybe not this year but another year would be great to see like the Christmas markets here with all the lights and everything down the Rhine. I think it would be absolutely spectacular um, but yeah, even feeling a little bit ill for one or two of the days we still had an amazing time. Yeah. So we showed just a couple of the brow houses that are here. So um, there was Peter's Brow House and then we went into, what was that one called? Gilden Imzim. Sorry, right. if I'm, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. No, that sounds right. Um, we had some food in there. I'll put a picture just here now. So that was our proper bratwurst for the holiday and it was so nice. I think that's the nicest thing that I've eaten in Germany so far. So proper raving about that meal. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really good. I really like the system of just bringing out small beers and then just replacing them when you're finished. And the beer is always so cold and so fresh every time. For it to be Kolsch, it's got to be brewed in Cologne, so that's how you know you're having Kolsch. They brew them in the brow house as well, so make sure when you're, if you want this experience of like having your Kolsch replaced, make sure you look for a brow house and not just any old kind of restaurant slash bar, because it has to be a brow house for them to offer this kind of serving this this form of serving culture to you basically with that being said we've really enjoyed it here and we will be back again if you have liked this video please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well thanks for tuning in guys thanks for watching bye, bye.